Hey, Isaac here, and it's Tuesday, October 5th. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. This is the podcast where we live the dream of people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. On Tuesday, November 9th, Kevin's newest book, Get to the Point, releases worldwide in paperback, hardback, ebook and audiobook. To celebrate, we're inviting you and everyone to join the launch team by offering a free copy of the ebook or audiobook. Simply go to kevinwhite.us and request your free copy today. Get to the Point is a practical guide for passionately pursuing God's presence. Every guidance and provision you will ever need can be found today in the presence of God. On November 9th, the ebook will be only 99 cents on Amazon. The launch team will encourage everyone to share, review, and gift Get to the Point. Request your free copy and join the launch team today at kevinwhite.us. Kevinwhite.us. Today, Kevin is joined by Temsela Bass of Nashville, North Carolina. Temsela is a sister in Christ, friend and board member for Global Hope India. Put your hands together and let's welcome Kevin and Temsela to today's show. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Living the Dream. I am Pastor Kevin, and I'm here with my sister in the Lord and now board member hey. of Global Hope India, Thimsala Bass. Thank you so much, sister. How are you Hi. today? Good, good. And how are you? I'm doing well. And I it's am go, always good to be together. It is. And I'm yes. incredibly blessed to have you help host the show. We want to give welcome to everyone in India. Themselves from India, everyone in the U.S. I'm from the U.S., but fortunately, by the grace of God, we have people in Germany and Pakistan and Nepal and Uganda and Africa and Canada and Mexico and everywhere in between. And we yes. welcome you. If you're watching on YouTube, we're actually waving at you right now. You can go to YouTube and see this episode if you want to watch the video but we welcome you to listen wherever podcasts are heard, and we are just grateful to have you in the audience. I'm going to ask Thimsala to set up today's episode for us. Where is God guiding us today? Will you just let everyone know? Yes, um, I have been the, really studying about what love is, you know, in a very broader way, and uh, we all have heard about love from a different perspectives and so for this couple of weeks i thought you know why not you know focus on love from a biblical perspective based on first corinthians chapter 13 mm -hmm. and uh, verses uh four to five and so you know instead of just discussing about love in love is this love is that we thought uh not just in a very uh very broader way I thought for the next couple of weeks, we can just break it into bite size, like small, small, tiny bit, and just talk about what the Bible, the biblical perspective is about love. And in terms of, you know, love is patient. So we can talk today, yes. you know, for the one session, what patient means in a everyday situation. And so um, that's what you know i've been thinking about it the world has so many definitions about love but then for us as believers we know that god is love that love comes from god and as first corinthians chapter uh, i mean first excuse me first john chapter 4 verse 10 to 12 it talks about that in this is love not that we love god but that God loved us. And so mm -hmm. he commands us that we ought to love one another. And so uh, the whole thing about how do we love one another? And when we break that, you know, not just the concept of love, but how do we love people? How do we love one another? Let me just read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse four and five where it says i think a couple of weeks ago we talked about you know do i speak in the tongues of men and yet if i do not have love we are it's it's nothing it profits no one mm -hmm. and so 
it's a continuation of that where it talks about love suffers long and is kind and love does not envy, love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil. And that's where I wanted to stop. It's for this next couple of weeks, that's what we are going to study just on these two tiny words, but very powerful words. And so, Kevin, when you think about love, what comes to your mind? <laughs> um, as you were just sharing, I thought of worship, um, and I'll, I'll explain that. But when Themsala pitched this idea to me, I said, this is absolutely perfect. Um, the theme of this show, Live in the Dream, resonates from Revelation 7, 9 through 12, where every nation, tribe, and tongue is worshiping Jesus in uh, mm -hmm. heaven for all eternity. And um, right now, unfortunately, we see way too many graphics and videos and pictures of violence, pro um, protest, and turmoil in people's lives. We grieve with those who are in anguish today. Uh, but this picture that John gives us of heaven, there is no protest. There's no mm. hatred. There's no division. You have black, white, uh, red, yellow, brown, all by, side by side, English speaking, Spanish speaking, uh, Hindi speaking, and every other language, mm -hmm. all side by side, and they're all focused on worship. And so when I think of, of love, and as you were just sharing those scriptures, I think of worship. Uh, worship means to bow down. And, mm -hmm. and I, I think of in that moment, the only thing that will be captivating our minds and our attention is our love for Jesus. At that, mm -hmm. at that moment, when we're in heaven, the pain and the temptation and the distractions and the suffering will be over and it will be worthy as the lamb for all eternity mm -hmm. worship. Amen. And we will just be loving on Jesus because he saved us of our sin. He brought us into his eternal kingdom and we will be so full of gratitude. But the foundation of that revelation of John is love. And Jesus taught us to pray let it be on earth as it is in heaven. So we want to focus mm -hmm. on that vision in heaven because it's not just something that's made possible by God in the future, but God is able to make it possible today through his mm -hmm. believers as we are willing to, to take that vision from Revelation, apply these scriptures that Themsala just shared with us and, and bring this atmosphere of worship, i.e. love for, for Jesus as well as for one another uh, into existence here on earth. Yeah, Jesus does not say, wait to love each other until you get there. Mm -hmm. That's not what Jesus commands us. And so even here, like we were talking about uh, that his will will be done here as well we have been discussing about that what it really means and so his will like he it's he talks about in john chapter 13 verse 15 it, he clearly says by this and by this means by the way that we love each other mm -hmm. people will know that we are disciples of jesus mm -hmm. and so in that if we really break down like i have talked about the first corinthians where I mentioned about love being patient. We live in a world that's so impatient. Mm -hmm. I am guilty of that. So many times Me I get too. so impatient yes. with my family, mm -hmm. with my kids, with people, with the traffic, mm -hmm. even with the lights, mm -hmm. you know, the traffic lights. I get impatient with that. But, you know, we have conditioned ourselves to be impatient. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... Yet God's word says that if we truly, really are my followers, then you will practice patience. Yeah. And so just like we have conditioned ourselves today to be impatient, mm -hmm. we also need to, you know, practice condition 
ourselves to be patient as well. Mm -hmm. And it, it's very, you know, if love is motivating us, if we say that we truly love God and we are his disciples, then it, it should motivate us to be patient. Mm -hmm. And that means we have to be turning away from, um, you know, negative thoughts, negative things, and then focus on what honors God. Focus on something extending compassion, uh, learning to be more patient in any kind of situation mm -hmm. and yeah. to be more understanding because that's love putting into practice. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Very well said. Hi, it's Isaac. Kevin will be right back. Kevin White is an international speaker and best-selling author who loves helping people everywhere to prosper in God's presence. A serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of businesses, nonprofits, and churches. Kevin's book, Audacious Generosity, is available in paperback for only $10 right now at kevinwhite.us. And that includes free shipping anywhere in the USA. That's cheaper than you can buy it on Amazon. Go to kevinwhite.us and order some copies today for you and your friends. Kevin's newest book, Get to the Point, releases everywhere on November 9th, 2021. It offers a practical guide for pursuing the presence of God and shows you how every guidance or provision you will ever need can be found today in the presence of God. Get ready for Get to the Point, releasing November 9th, 2021. A serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of businesses, nonprofits, and churches. As founder, executive director of Global Hope India, Kevin has traveled over 1 million miles to 27 different countries, speaking to thousands of audiences throughout India and the world. Visit kevinwhite.us for Kevin's books, one-minute motivation series, and podcasts. Visit kevinwhite.us today. Research shows 3 billion people still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Did you know that if 3 billion people formed a human chain, it would circle the earth at the equator 75 times? One of those billion people far from God calls India home. Global Hope India has been empowering Christian churches throughout India as they provide access for all people to know about Jesus. Learn more at globalhopeindia.org. That's globalhopeindia.org. Okay, now back to the show. And I want to bring this down before we conclude this episode to some very practical application. Because when you think of welcoming a foreigner uh, into your life for the sake of the gospel, it's going to require a tremendous amount of patience. And it's not that you're a rude person. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. that there's there's barriers, there's there's obstacles to get over. Yeah. Um, like even if you are trying to befriend someone that speaks a different language and English is not their primary language, they're going to have a dialect and you are going to probably have to ask them to repeat themselves continuously. And that's going to require patience on your part because you could get frustrated because you can't understand them. And it's going to require patience on their part because you keep asking them to repeat themselves. But it is necessary for the sake of love. And, yes. and that's what Thimsala is dr drilling in. God is using her to remind me and others, everyone in the audience, to let love win over. Otherwise, you're going to refuse to welcome people that are different than you because the most comfortable place in the world is what you are already familiar with. That's where you're most comfortable. And so when we step out of that and we start saying hello to people at the gas station or in the marketplace of a different nationality, a different heritage, uh, they were born in a different country. They have different skin color than us. They speak a different language. English is not their pro prominent language. It's going to require a, a boatload of patience, but we do that for the sake of love. And we do that yeah. because scripture says, this is how, how others will know that you are my disciples, that you demonstrate love. That, yes. And yeah, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Well, I was just going to conclude by just saying it doesn't mean perfection because Thimsela has already admitted that she is Mm -hmm. far from perfect. I'll be second to, to say you don't have to look at my life very long before you will see that I am far from perfect. It means we get back to it, though. Um, we can be imperfect. We're going to be. And we don't excuse that, but we get back to the principle of love because Jesus is perfect. And if we will allow his power to be lived within us, his perfection can even uh, compensate for our imperfection. And that's what that's what love is all about. Yes. And before we just quickly close, I just wanted to add to a little bit to that is, um, you know, in the way we have to be very careful, our tone, our gesture, everything, it will tell whether you are being patient or you are being impatient towards the other person that's at the receiving end. And so we need to be careful about that. I cannot see you on the phone that I'm talking to somebody, but if they are impatient, I can tell from their voice, even without looking, that they are patient or impatient. Mm -hmm. And so uh, let me just end this, uh, you know, today's episode with Ephesians chapter Mm 4, verse 2, where it says, always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love, Mm -hmm. because of your love for Christ and love for one another. And so let me end today's episode and let that be a prayer for each one of us that we will choose and we will condition to love true by showing patience to one another. Yeah, and I love how that verse sets up with the word humility. And so let's go out with an agreement that we will humble ourselves uh, before the Lord and we will allow the the Holy Spirit's fruit, uh, the fruit of the Spirit of patience to resonate in our life as we let love win. Let's go live the dream and let love win today. God bless you all. We'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International, all rights reserved. Each week we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today. As it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White. Living the Dream with Kevin White.